everyone, Christos here with Better at BI. And today I want to talk about gathering requirements for your, for your reporting project. A few years ago, I was new to the healthcare space. Really didn't know my way around the business, so to speak. I'd been around the block. I'd been in manufacturing, consulting, government work, call center work. I'd done a lot of other reporting. So this wasn't a technology issue. This was me not understanding what the healthcare business was. Uh, I had a lot of scope creep and my customers weren't necessarily happy with what I was providing them. So I called a timeout. I said, okay, you know, I got to figure out what's going on here. So I did some research in systems and process improvement. Uh, I asked some questions. I, I interviewed some project managers and did a lot of digging around and I came up with 12 questions. 12 questions that won't guarantee success and it won't totally eliminate scope creep but it will dramatically increase your effectiveness at delivering BI projects. Let's go. Number one, what is the clinical or business question that needs to be answered with this requested report? Many times report requests are submitted by people who are second or third or fourth party participants in this, in this situation. Imagine a C-suite meeting lots of great ideas, lots of thinkers of great thoughts, right? And someone has an idea and then someone delegates that idea to somebody else who then delegates that idea to somebody else. Next thing you know, you've got some manager or an admin assistant uh, putting in a request. How many orders have been canceled, right? Or how many times has line two gone down? That's it, that's the request, right? Uh, that's just one ingredient. That's just the symptom, if you will. That's, that's the one ingredient in this big stew, right, of this project. So you really want to ask that question. What needs to be answered here? Question number two, how will this data be used? Are we looking to seek out anomalies, rare events, or are we trying to track and trend issues is this something that we're gonna to try to summarize? Uh, it's important to know this because this is gonna guide your decision uh, into what tool you're going to use. Question number three, in the final state, how will this report be used? Uh, will the data be copied into a spreadsheet um, for further, you know, further interpretation? You know, is the end user gonna consume this on a daily, weekly, monthly basis? Uh, is this something that's gonna go uh, um, you know, pushed out to another organization like, let's say, a governance body or some other municipality. It's important to know how you're going to use this data. Now, that's the data. The next question is the actual function of the report. You know, we know what the question is. Now we know, you know, how they're going to use this data. But, uh, you know, and, and we kind of know the purpose of this data. But what's the function of the product? Am I creating a dashboard that the CFO is going to look at when he or she walks into the office every day? Or am I creating something that we'll get to whenever we get a chance to get to, right? So it's important to know what's the required function of this product. Question five, what's going in to the report? What's the population? So the simple request of saying, hey, how many orders have been canceled? Like all the orders? Like you know, every single gosh darn order, or are we talking about a certain type of order, a certain type of medication? It's important to know these things. Conversely, question number six, what's not gonna be in this report, right? Um, kind of like I said, okay, so we want, we only want saline solution, um, and we only want saline solution that was ordered, or I'm sorry, that was uh, uh, mixed between three and 6 a.m. because uh, the other stuff we just don't want to know about. Right now, that's what we're tracking. Okay, perfect. Question number seven. What are the fields? What kind of, what data do we need to go in there? If you're new to the industry or the organization, you really got to ask this question. Um, if you know your way around, you probably already have an idea of what goes in there, and so it wouldn't hurt to ask. Right? Do you need patient identifier? Do you need a uh, uh, certain medication number or maybe in manufacturing. Do you need to know what parts are being used? Do you need to know uh, 
what's happening online too. You know, do you want to limit your search to just um, to just whatever line two is making mac and cheese, right? So you got to ask what's going to be, uh, you know, what fields are going to go in there. Um, how are we going to sort this report? Now, if we're talking dashboards, this is kind of an irrelevant question. Um, but if you're talking like massive spreadsheets that are then going to be consumed by somebody else, a great example is in healthcare, we do a lot of what's called quality initiative projects. So these aren't necessarily research projects per se. These are more quality improvement, right? We want to see, hey, uh, how are we doing when we give this medication? Are we seeing the kind of improvement that we thought we would see? Um, and so if you're doing a data dump in Excel spreadsheet and you're talking tens of thousands of rows, be better at BI, help your customer. Go ahead and do some sorting for them before they consume this file. Question number nine, this is important. What calculations are required? In healthcare, we have something as seemingly simple as readmission. Let's say I'm admitted because I broke my arm, okay? I was messing around, I fell off the ladder, I broke my arm, and my wife's out of town. Let's say I have to catch an Uber to get home. On my way home, we get into a bad accident. Now I'm back in the hospital. Is that a readmit? Well, I guess sort of kind of is, but it really sort of actually kind of isn't. I mean, I, was, I had nothing to do with this. I, I'm only in because I have a concussion because someone hit my Uber driver, right? So it's important to know these, these calculations. Question number 10. Do you remember earlier I talked about um, you know, the, this telephone game of a report request? It's important to know who's going to give the thumbs up here. You know, who's going to say, yep, awesome sauce, this is what I need. So you really need to ask that question because the person who put the ticket in, let's say it's a manager, he probably doesn't really know. But at the same time, you don't want to skirt around and say, well, then I'll just go to the CFO. Uh, follow your chain of command out of respect. Um, that being said, you got to know who's going to give the thumbs up. That was one of the things that drove the development of this, of this list. Question number 11, how will this report be validated? If you've been around the block in your organization, you probably know how to check your data. But 11 or so years ago, I was brand new. I had no idea how to know what was right and what wasn't right. If you're a consultant or you're a contractor or you're working with a consultant or a contractor, you got to be able to tell him or her how to validate this data just to save you time. Finally, which individuals are going to receive this request or this report once it's completed? In many organizations, the people who control access to Tableau or Power BI are another group. So if you know that all the managers on the floor are going to need access to this report, you got to make sure all the managers have access. If they don't, you got to start the ticket process now. It's a little um, cumbersome to do that, but it's important because the last thing you want to do is say, report's ready. And then when the CFO gives out the report, no one can access it. He or she will look a little embarrassed, which in turn, you know, you know what rolls down the hill. Uh, you don't want to be catching that thing that just rolled downhill, right? So again, 12 questions. I'm going to post these on my website. I'm going to post these below and put them on my website at Better at BI. But again, this is Christos, Better at BI. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope this helped you not as a BI analyst, but also as the consumer. Um, if you like what I've had to say, please hit like. Um, if you're interested in more of these types of things, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, leave a comment. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Christos. Again, this is Christos, better at BI.